she talk about it. So now we're in Walmart, and the guy he's going down the stairs, you know. So um, we go to the material department, and uh, I think I said this already. There's a uh, 88 cent, 62 cent, a dollar 13 cent, you know, material like that. So I grab some, and then they have certain things on sale, you know, like uh, they have little things for a dollar. Then they have the clearance, you know, and that's where I stay at. Because it's my dolls, they don't need very expensive stuff. So, there was some white material there. <laughs> I really did like it, you know, but it's in the remnant, you know, little box. I really did like it. It was white. I really did like it. It would have made my dolls some really pretty coats. But I thought it was $4, almost $5, you know. They did like it. Until the handlers used my daughter to try to handle me. <laughs> she was like, Oh, Emma, why don't you get this? And then you can make you a skirt, you know, like ours, and this and that. I, I, I don't understand what she doesn't get about it, not going to be involved, you know. And it was white, really pretty white material. Man, I could have made all my dog's coats out of it, probably at least enough of them coats. <laughs> anyway, so. I decided not to get it, you know, because I felt like she was trying to coerce me into something, you know, I get around people and it seems like they're always trying to coerce me into something, something I don't want to do, and I know it's just, it's a handler handling them to coerce me into shit I don't want to do, you know. Now I'm already looking at a lot of things, you know, you know, through, through the course of a day, step by step. I mean, it'll take a long time to talk all of that, so I'm not going to tell it step by step. But in in between time, you know, I'm seeing how uh, they're using my daughter as uh, a surrogate. You know, like uh, one day last week, my daughter she calls me. You know, we're talking. And she tells me she thinks that they're using this other person, you know, to substitute her because now someone else in my family is doing exactly what my third daughter, she, she, that's, that's, she used to do it, you know, that's, that was her thing, you know. But then, you know, riff rap and all the devices and who knows what else my control is going on, you know, she... She wasn't allowed to do it anymore, but they're using someone else in our family to do it. And she noticed that, and she called to tell me. And I said, well, you know, uh, they they use my daughters to substitute me too. And she used, thought I was just talking about the oldest too. They use them too, you know. They substitute imams, but that's all they could be as a substitute imam. They were raised to know how to be an imam, but they're not there. They're just a mama and mommy, you know, send your children to, um, to the pink man, let the pink man teach your children in school, um, pop your fingers, uh, you know, just anything besides learn about who you are and, um, fully resources, sources so, you know, uh, we can get our own, you know. <laughs> No, they don't want to do shit like that. They, they can't even give you dumb, stupid ass excuses of why they want to do it. They don't want to do it, which, in a sensible way, is understandable because um, uh, this mind control stuff, you know, uh, the the gang stalking and street theater, whatever it is, it has been going on in our family too long. So there's. Shit that's piled up high. I mean, it's, this shit is PhD piled high and deeper. I mean, that. Like that. And so, you know, this one say no because this one did this. And this one says because this one did this. But all they have to do is learn uh, about mind control. And how uh, they can uh, terrorize your whole family. And tear you apart. Once you know them, it's hard for them to pull shit off. Especially if you know them as a group, you know them as a family. Oh man, they will leave you alone because you know them. You know what they will do. You know how they will do it. You know they will simulate someone to go against someone else. 
just so there will be a disruption okay so I'm thinking about you know even in the store I'm thinking about how they're using they're going to her my daughter to try to uh, you know make me do something I didn't want to do and now uh, I'm thinking about how they're using her as a substitute granny because things that I would do for my grandchildren she's doing it and so you know it, it's like negative thoughts start coming in my mind about it mm -mm. I say hell fuck no you send no negative energy this way motherfucker I don't care Wherever my daughter you are allowing my daughter to do because if you can do anything like you have a job or whatever they allow you to have it <laughs> so what I said whatever you're allowing my daughter to do that's fine with me at least someone in our family is doing it see so I learned how to take um, things that uh, they try to have me to have negative thoughts on I've learned to turn them into positives and they didn't like that because I, all I did was just kept thinking of positive things because I'm going to enjoy myself today you know and then you know before I even went earlier they you know had my feelings and my thoughts should I go no yes I'm going you know I'm going I'm going you know I, yeah I'm going <laughs> and I went so since I am having all these positive thoughts in my mind they uh, you know I jealous you know because they can't get me out of the mood that I'm in that I'm going and I'm going to enjoy myself you know and, then, and my daughter cooks well wow. hmm. you really think I'm going to let your negative thoughts stop me from eating my daughter's food <laughs> hell no so we went there we went other places and uh, I, 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 I saw how they were using those around me I, I saw it but I just remained positive so I didn't even say to them how they were using it I didn't bring it up I didn't talk about it I just remained positive we went back to my daughter's oh we did find the handheld thing but it was at Michael's I took a picture of it because my daughter's going to take it back so I had to leave it there and leave the receipt there they are no good I took a picture of it and when I get my camera back I'll put the picture on in my machine and I will really show you don't buy that it's a piece of shit and it cost me 20 bucks <laughs> and uh, my mind told me it's only 20 bucks it may not be no good and it wasn't any good so yes I, I went and I had a a very enjoyable day my daughter she cooked well it's not just my daughter who cooks you know my my grandbabies help her cook too and uh, we did uh, I, I only sold uh, one dress you know well it's it's kind of it's a, it's going to look like a dress when my daughter gets through with it but it's actually uh, a skirt and a top but when my daughter gets done with it it'll look like it's just a dress so uh, I sold one you know you just sold the top you know together is different layers of material so you just sold the top together that's all she sold <laughs> you know uh, she may have tucked something here with a needle into it but mostly that's all she sold so when I got ready to go I also got some green tea and I got uh, some water and I took my organic honey that uh, my daughter my grandbabies bought for me and uh, see and uh, it is organic and I take it I drink it like this too you know I, I do like honey I like sugar I like sweets you know and I have to watch how much honey I take as it can be just like sugar is just supposedly more nutritional but these days all the GMOs who the fuck knows so I took that over there because uh, you know I, I was lethargic you know for a couple of days and uh, then I decided I was going to stay all night there you know because uh, it's, it's 
you know, it just didn't want to bother them. And I just felt to stay away from the cave. To get away from the cave for a while. But however, I cough more there than I did here in three days. Man, I kept coughing and coughing. So, and then uh, she showed me all these, a lot of videos they took. And she has smart dust in her house. You can see it flying too. And I told her, I said, you see this stuff flying through, girl? That's called smart dust. That's just how melanated ones are around me. That's how anyone is around me. It's like they just shake it off. It doesn't mean anything to them, you know? Like it means to me. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder maybe it means so... Because it doesn't mean anything to them, maybe that's how come it's so heavy on me. That it means so much to me that I'm in obsessed with it you know so I uh, sold up one skirt and didn't have one of my grandbabies to you know heat me up some water and I gave up you know my um, my tea bags or whatever in honey or whatever you know to do that and uh, when it was done she brought it to me and I drank it I don't know if it could have been the dinner I ate and then my grandbabies, they, oh, they can make ice cream sundaes and just put all kind of stuff on it. So, yeah, they got ice cream too. So, man, I was so tired. So, I had my grandbaby to make that for me to see if it'll perk me up a little bit. I was so tired. I was so sleepy. And so, I, I told my daughter, I said, I, I, I don't think I can do anymore. I can't see the needle. That's how tired I was. I couldn't even see the needle. And so, um, my grandbaby was sitting on the couch with me, and my grandbaby was like, well, uh, you want me to move? You can lay down right here, you know, whatever, whatever. And I went to sleep. Uh, when I laid down, I started coughing and coughing and coughing, and my grandbaby, a uh, queen, she came and she said, uh, Ima, here, you want a cough drop? And I said, sure, I took the cough drop, and I dropped off to sleep. I was asleep. Uh, I woke up yesterday morning because um, my grandbabies, you know, were getting ready to go to school. The little ones, uh, the queens, they are homeschooled. So um, the two small ones, you know, my, they're another one of my children's babies, they're young. And so they were going to school. But I woke up uh, because I wanted to talk to Yakel. I really needed to talk to Yakel. Which I had talked to Yaka at 86 that night, you know, I, we really had a nice talk, you know, on the porch and I went out and I enjoyed the night weather. My son is here. Uh, she took her out. 